Alex Jones is still alive. Not on the internet, but I mean, well, he was on his own website. The internet needs a bill of rights. Especially since it's like the one part of life that so many people feel the need to constantly commit themselves to. It's like they're in a mental institution. And yet everybody I tell them I'm crazy, they don't believe me, they're like, you're so aware of yourself. Yeah, that's the problem. They would fucking kill me. People want to play the history card? Shit. I could easily play the victim just on the history of mentally ill people and what they do to us. But I'm not a victim of psychiatry anymore. Not anymore. Now, if that little David Hogg could only talk about Big Pharma, <laughs> he could. <laughs> That's the thing. Jack Dorsey would like end his Twitter career in less than a minute. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm I'm really aware of a lot of stuff. But I watch a lot of news source. I don't want to just watch. I don't I don't want you guys to think that I'm like. Uh, a Fox News enthusiast because I think that they're all like playing you know what I mean like even like Tucker Carlson I respect what he has to say and I feel like he he's he's got values but it's like for the camera you know it's so hard to find genuine people these days that's why I like Trump that's really the main reason I like Trump aside from his political incorrectness which I highly support Especially for the president. That's awesome. I love how he's just rattling the cages. Mmm. I know I'm going to lose a lot of people because of this video. That's fine. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to agree with me enough to stay subscribed to my channel. Though I don't really understand how just hitting the unsubscribe button really button. I don't know why I said it. Button. <laughs> do you like this voice? I like it a lot. It makes my life a lot more interesting whenever I do voices. And I just realised that. Like it took me comedy to realise that that was just the way that I live my life. So. I want you guys to really understand where I'm coming from. And I know that I'm probably... The most interesting person you'll ever meet in this day and age, mainly because I let it all hang out. And what you see is what you get, and sometimes what you get ain't that great, but at least it's honest and not a bunch of rubbish, you know what I mean? I don't think you do. But uh, that's because you've been programmed. Like, a TV show. Like, you have a remote control. Like, everywhere you go. Like, there's so many people that have already talked about this shit. You notice, like, all these writers talking about, like, a dystopian future. It's, it's always socialistic, y'all. Always. Collect collections of people. Massive amounts of people that have no idea what's really going on. Don't fucking care. They're just in this little dream all the time. Here's the thing, I'm in a dream all the time, but I know it's a dream. And so, uh, hold up. I need to end this video. Whoa! I need to end this video. So I'll end it with a quote from Henry David Thoreau. So here you go. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams, live the life you've imagined. I'm trying to do that. 
I really am. Now, I had a falling out with God, but we fell back, so that's cool, huh? Um, I'm still agnostic, uh, but I'm just a better person if I believe in God, you know? That's, it really matters more of an idea of something than it is like the actuality. And so if it makes me a better person and I feel like more fulfilled spiritually, and by spiritually I mean like within myself, because that's all it is, man. Having a relationship with God, that comes from having a relationship with yourself. So, whatever. Another reason why you guys can unsubscribe to my channel and be such a badass. <sighs> I don't care. I don't take it personally. I really don't. I just wonder, like, who it is. I always wonder, but that's as far as it goes, you guys. You're not that important. But I am, though. At least in God's eyes. That's why I haven't been smited. <laughs> I wish that he'd smite more people. I wish that he'd go back to Old Testament God. I really think that that would be better than, like... Jesus died for your sins. I mean, really, there, there, are, there need to be, like, so many more Jesuses, you know, because you guys just keep on sinning. I don't think that this is what anybody wants. I'll see y'all. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> that lovely, uplifting note. <laughs> don't kill me, CIA, please. I have so much that I have to share with the world. Maybe this is a plea to the government officials to leave me the fuck alone because I'm not even gonna tell you. <laughs> people, people just think you're crazy. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I'm just gonna say as much crazy shit as possible because I feel like that's what's kept Alex Jones alive. You know, like he acts crazy, like he just, you know, takes his shirt off and, you know, Arr! and I get it. I feel the same way too. Don't you wish I'd take mine off because I got good tits, but, um, you know, like I feel the exact same way. I understand why he's so, like, nut casey. I don't think that, if you see, like, interviews with him, he's so fucking calm. I'm the same way. If you just, like, talk to me on a personal level, like, I'm totally chill real fucking quiet, but, you know, if you get me alone, I just get super amped. It's because I'm real passionate about stuff that I know. I think Milo Yiannopoulos is the same way. Like, he does this shit, like, he gets, like, so excited when he talks, and he does this thing repeatedly where he takes his glasses off and he puts them back on and he takes them. It's just like, I notice shit like that, because I'm like, oh, that's like a nervous tick he does. That's cool. It's like he doesn't do that, you know, he doesn't like do the gay thing, so he just does that. Like, <laughs> I love him. He's my favorite faggot in the whole world, and I really hope that he eventually finds out about me and so we can meet and hang out. And I have all these little fantasies about people that have really inspired me to just, you know, they've shaped my thinking. Here's the thing with Milo, he's so funny. And we are lacking actual comedy right now, you guys. And he pushes the limits. Like, that's what comedians are supposed to do. They're supposed to cross those lines. And the fact that nobody is willing to do that anymore, nobody wants to do anymore because they're so scared of being labeled. And, and the thing is with technology, it's just reinforcing this stupid bullshit, which is why he's awesome. And he's banned from so many college campuses and they rally him and they protest and all this shit. I mean, he's like the most controversial figure all because he refuses to fall in line with this victim stereotype because he's gay or because he's like the victim of child molestation or anything like that. I mean, I totally get him. And I feel like a lot of people are not as likely to uh, I don't even know where I was going. I think that you should just end the fucking video because you keep saying that you're going to and then you just keep on talking. Yakety yakety yak, shut the fuck up, baby. You probably should go to bed. Fuck, you need to bathe, man. <laughs> I really do. It's been a day. If you work in a restaurant, you know this. If you go like a day without bathing, it's just it's bad. I know when my coworkers need to take a bath. I know when Amy Gross needs to take a bath. 
I used to not know because I drank a lot of alcohol and I didn't really give, give a fuck. I keep doing that. I don't know if it's like a, a nervous tick. I just think it's kind of fun, you know, to make noises with my mouth. Don't get any ideas, you fucking sickos. Or Arlo will attack you through the vortex. <laughs> no, you've got to attack him. You've got to attack him. You've got to attack him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Did y'all feel that? Did you feel that intensity? <laughs> You know, if, if any of you guys try to attack me, I highly doubt that he would attack you. He would just, like, stand there and, and watch it happen because he's a little bitch. Isn't that right? Right. Well, anyway. You were going on a Milo Yiannopoulos rant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going on a fuck comedians rant, really. I mean, he's not technically a comedian, but that's the thing that I was saying before. Like... When I discovered Ben Shapiro, it didn't just like change the way that I looked at certain things. It, he was just funny. I thought he was funny. That's what attracted me to him. It's just that I thought he was funny. And I thought he was well-informed and eloquent. And I, I, I like well-informed, eloquent, funny people, you know? And you don't get many of those. You don't get many of those characteristics all at the same time. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. I, uh... I think there's such a shortage of, of actual comedians that it's, it's allowed other people to, to be comedians that aren't actual comedians um, because comedians forgot how to do their job all because Donald Trump's in office, which is an excuse just like the rest of their life. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just I, I really respect people that are funny because that means that they're self-aware and it means that they're aware of the world. and. That's why South Park is so fucking hilarious. Because uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone are clearly not liberals. I feel like they're libertarians. Like, libertarians are where it's at, you guys. Notice I didn't say libertarian party. I just said libertarian. Like, the philosophy, the values. You know, not aggression. Not aggression. Let's keep our constitution. Government, go away. Um, sorry, y'all. I just keep on yakking, 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 yakking. Uh, so I have this. I showed you guys. I need a megaphone. Because if I had a megaphone, how the fuck would you do that? Somebody would have to stand there with me. You guys are coming to the grocery store with me, right? I really hope you are. Because I, I know that I, I don't think I've been boring you, but... I know, I've probably, probably gotten under your skin just a little bit. Maybe the stuff that I said you don't agree with, or maybe you think that I'm speaking out of turn. I'm sure that people think that whenever I talk about racial issues. But that's only because I feel black on the inside, you guys. And uh, I hang out with a lot of black people. I work with a lot of black people. You know, you work in food service, like, yeah, a lot of black people work in food service. And so it's like... I feel like there's no way to talk about race, especially if you're white. Like, they expect you to talk about it in a certain way. And if you don't talk about it in a certain way, then they'll label you whatever the fuck they want. And everybody just goes along with it. Um, but I, I, know, I know a lot of black people that can vouch for the fact that I'm not a racist. And it's not just because my cock has been in their mouth. It's because of the fact that I'm not afraid to go to the projects. I smoke a lot of weed. I mean... It's, it's sad, though. I still don't know how to roll a blunt. I'll figure it out eventually. I still even know how to roll a joint. You think as a, as a white person, I at least know how to do that. But, uh, especially as a cigarette smoker. I know, right? Yeah, I used to smoke cigarettes like a fiend. You've seen. 
Yeah, rolling your own cigarettes is way cooler. You know, that'd be totally justifiable if you weren't a chain smoker, right? Yeah, but see, that's my habit. Like, if I could have any habit in the whole world, you guys, it would be smoking cigarettes. Like, I love smoking cigarettes. I love them so much, so now I'm talking about them, and now I just want, like, one, like, really long, like, Corella de Ville, you know, like, mm. <laughs> Do you see that? You see that trail of smoke? I saw it in my mind. Saw it again. I'll see you guys later. I've gone on way too long. Um, <sighs> I've been growling at my... <sighs> I always feel like I need to clear the air before I create some more rubble. Okay. Remember, best of intentions. I just want to help people. I really do. That's why I'm not monetizing my channel. Because, I mean, well, I get demonetized anyway, but... Um, I mean, I'd like to have some money. But, I mean, I'm fixing to work. Another job. So I'm gonna have two jobs, you guys. So two paychecks. So maybe I'll be able to like go different places and talk to different people. I hope that I could leave the house at some point. It's cool though being on the internet, because then you know you can talk to a bunch of people everywhere. And shout out to anybody that is in other places, which are all of you actually. So shout out to all of you. Um <laughs> shout out! To my friend in uh, Israel, was it Israel? Um, that's awesome. You're so far away from me, and you have a completely different experience than the one I have. And I'd love to hear about your experience. You should do a video talking about your experience and ways that you don't play the victim. Um, uh, I would, I love to hear that. These kinds of stories are inspiring to me. They're like memoirs, only you don't have to read a memoir because that's boring, right? <laughs> um, I, that's, I'm not going to do that. A lot of people tell me to write a memoir. I'm like, go fuck yourself, you know, just because I'm mentally ill. And I'm, I don't think that I'm good at writing. Like, I can't write the way that writers write, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I'm just better at this kind of thing. Uh, I mean, I do write. I'll show you. You've already seen some of it, but I'll show you some more of it because I have so much of it. <laughs> That's funny. Little voice I'll do. You guys like it? I hope you do. I have a natural tendency to rhyme all the time everywhere I go. I just lost it. Oh well. This is ultra rapid cycling, I suppose. Yeah? Unmedicated. Okay, I came up with a really good joke that seems like it would be a joke that somebody smarter than anybody in the Nashville comedy scene would make about me because a lot of people like to make fun of the fact that I'm obviously not on medication. So it's like their way of taking me down or whatever, or what, like whatever I just said because they don't agree with it or because they're weirded out by me or they're scared or whatever the fuck. But like, Okay, I came up with a really good joke. This is a joke that I would say if I were a smarter person in the Nashville comedy scene watching Amy Gross perform. Uh, Amy Gross is what happens when Maria Bamford stops taking her medication. <laughs> does that sound about right? A lot of people compare me to Bamford because of the fact that we're both obviously mentally ill. But somebody was misdiagnosed. <sighs> See, she... Uh, we we're both misdiagnosed, but she still goes along with this bipolar shit. The reason they tell you you're bipolar is so you stay on the medication for the rest of your life because uh, one of my friends is bipolar and she's been on medication for like 15 years, man. Like you're not even supposed to be on these drugs for longer than six months and she's still on this shit. I mean, they have her convinced that she's gonna kill herself if she stops taking them. And like, 
don't they know that these medications make you more violent? It's like you're in a lucid dream, pretty much. I know. I was on all that shit. Kurt Cobain has a whole song devoted to lithium. Did you guys know that? The song is actually called Lithium. And he still killed himself. Now, did he actually kill himself? Did Courtney kill him? Did the government kill him? Who killed him? Maybe he killed it. Medication was involved. It's just so funny to me how many people get involved with medication thinking that, oh, I'm going to get better. And then they end up stabbing people or shooting people in schools. All of them have been on medication, you guys. All these people that have, have, have been in trouble for violence. Because they keep, they keep saying like, oh, it's medicine, it's medicine. See, there's a problem. This is how both sides are, are working against you. So all the anti-gun people, they say, oh, it's the gun, it's the gun. And then all these like, like pro-gun people are like, no, it's mental illness, mental illness. They just need medication. We just need to make it harder for mentally ill people to get gun. Like, fuck you, man. I was so mad at Trump when he talked about that, about due process being out for mentally ill. Fuck you, ducky. Fuck you. I know you didn't mean it. I forgive you, but fuck you still. See, uh, I harbor resentment sometimes, y'all. But I don't think that he meant it anyway. I think that he just said that shit to appeal to the left. Because, like, they kind of figured that he wasn't going to do nothing about it since he's pro-Second Amendment. But there's nothing to do about it. People are going to, like, be violent towards each other. Especially in this country. Because I hate, hate to break it to y'all, but there are a lot of criminals in this country. And, like, it, it's a lot harder to keep these people from getting guns than you want to think. And any, any bad thing that they could get a hold of, they're going to be able to get a hold of. Like... Didn't prohibition teach you anything? I mean, alcohol kills people every year. So it's, they only talk about firearms because, like, they want to take away our constitutional rights. That's the whole point. I don't think that people realize this. They think that I'm stretching, but, like, I promise. It's the liberals that think everything's elastic. It's not Amy Gross, okay? I mean, I'll stretch things for the joke a joke. Because jokey land is huge, you know? You'd realize that if you stop hanging out in the anti-Trump, anti-fun house. Because really and truly what I just said is absolutely true. The anti-Trump, anti-fun house is anything but entertaining or funny or even amusing. I mean, from an outsider's perspective, it's, well, it's, it's funny like the shot in Freud is funny. But then I feel guilty. And I don't want to laugh at them, I just want to treat them because they're sick. And they really believe this bullshit that the media tells them. And I... I just, I just want to tell them that, like, human nature is real. I'll see you guys later. Like, for real. Goodbye. Love ya. Really, I love ya. See, that's why I can't be a mom, because I can't leave. Couldn't leave my children. You guys are my children. Goodbye.